Hello, my name is Jonathan Wafer, part of the regional sales team for Osram Opto Semiconductors. Today we're going to talk about some novel applications using infrared emitters and IR technology uh, for sensing and, in this case, illumination. Many of us know infrared emitters and detectors from traditional applications such as TV remotes. We've all sat with the clicker and turned our channels and changed the volume, uh, basically sending an IR beam to a detector uh, that's in the set-top box. Well, today we're going to take IR to another level. And the vehicle for the demonstration will be our product showroom, which we actually call the living space of the future, where you'll see uh, some novel applications for infrared technology that you commonly don't encounter on a daily basis. So you'll notice that uh, we're right now in basically what is a, a dark room. There is no ambient visible light whatsoever in this room. However, we can look up and see ourselves uh, on TV. Uh, what we have is a very simple setup. We have a camera. We have a projection system very similar to a projector that you would have in an office environment in a conference room. But what's different is we're illuminating the room with infrared light. In this particular case, we've replaced traditional MR16 bulbs in the ceiling panels of this room uh, with infrared emissive modules. And if you look closely, you can see a slight glow of red coming from these MR16 fixtures. Uh, there is a red spectrum in the IR, but in this case, we're illuminating the room with pure infrared light. Just to give you an idea of what we're talking about here, uh, there's roughly about 3.2 watts of IR power coming out of these modules that are consuming uh, roughly about uh, 5 watts uh, of electrical power. And as you can see, with just two MR16s, we have enough light to illuminate this whole room. Now one may think, well, what do I need infrared light in a house for? Well, this is a demo showcase room. So this application is not really something that you would do and used to uh, take advantage of the technology. However, this does show how IR can be very useful in covert illumination applications. Let's talk about border patrol. We, there's a lot of hype about securing the borders. Well, one way to do that without building fences is to actually have IR illuminators looking across the border uh, as much as 100 yards or 1,000 yards with camera systems thereby allowing one to see movement of people, material, or goods back and forth. So the covert surveillance is very, very popular. We have it on top of buildings. The military uses it all the time in night vision applications. And for the home, one may en envision uh, a system uh, in the baby's room. So when the baby cries, you look at your monitor, you can see that, oh, the baby's just crying. She's probably hungry. Um, and you can do this all in the comfort of your home while the baby has no ambient visible light, which would indicate the lights on and her eyes would open. So uh, another application would be security. You know, we often have these motion sensors outside of our houses looking for a thermal signature. A dog runs by, someone walks by, the light comes on. Well, sometimes you might not want the light to be on. You may just want to see people or activity uh, without lights. Well, the one way to do that is to employ the series of IR emitters that we can build with partners into modules. So on the marketplace, you can find uh, infrared illuminators, which are basically an array of IR LEDs uh, with drivers, some optics into a modular system. And the trend that we're seeing in the marketplace is replacing the conventional small illuminators 
The same ones we talked about for the TV remotes earlier with high power illuminators based upon our old star and our golden dragon types of devices.